All right, so it is Fashion Week that's happening here in Joburg. It opens at the Santon Convention Center tonight. Yeah, yeah, not tomorrow, tonight, under the theme African Fashion Unites. The show promises to be a spectacular one with designers including Makosa Gavin Raja, as well as Eric Racina from Madagascar. On the back of the recent act of violence directed at foreign nationals, this year's show will seek to display African unity on the ramp. So joining us in studio, we've got Gavin Raja, who is the co-chair of the African Fashion Unite Showcase, as well as Sihle Majola, who is in charge of the retail portfolio at African Fashion International. Great to have both of you in studio. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. So, I mean, it's always a highlight. It really is Fashion Week and, you know, people looking to fashion the latest styles and everything. But I see that, yes, this year is taking a much more serious tone, Gavin. I think, you know, fashion is a powerful language if it's used properly. And I think given, you know, the polemic kind of state of the continent, uh, what's really been interesting is actually getting talent to come together and to use their voice to raise these issues and also to kind of foster some form of social cohesion. And I think it's been really important because, you know, it's an industry which is so... Uh, so pervasive on the continent it mm. accounts for a huge amount you know in terms of you know this estimated 31 billion us dollars wow. um on this continent and i think if we can use this opening show as a kind of punctuation mark in the landscape of what's happening i think it's it, it's a great thing to have all these amazing designers and their talents contribute towards uh, entrenching this message out there yeah so so when you talk about this opening show that'll be happening tonight Yes. And this will be where this message will be pushed for Yeah, so the opening show is called African Fashion Unite, and it's a collaboration of fashion, music. So there's, uh, you know, people like Femi Kuti performing. We've got the Louvre Choir, uh, choir performing oh, wow. as well tonight. Oh, so nice. Um, and basically, they're collaborating in a way of mixing the fashion and its presentation on stage. So the first show is really about um, setting the tone for the rest of the week. Yeah, which is, 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 is really a powerful message because, you know, when you, when you travel the world and you look at, you look at fashion yeah. and you look at the influence that African fashion has had on the world, and it's a continent. Now, mm. it's not individual countries. There is an African style and flavor mm. that has influenced the world, whether we like to believe it or not, or whether the world likes to believe it or not. We've had a major influence on the world and the way that we see things. I mean, what are your views on that? Well... It, we're looking at African fashion and looking at it across the entire continent. It really has influenced a lot of the trends that are currently occurring throughout the world. Uh, even international brands are coming in and, and they are really trying to be able to incorporate some of the f uh, designs that African, Africa is producing. And with Africa fa African Fashion Unite, we are trying to be able to showcase the unity of Af African fashion and how every single aspect of it throughout the continent is really contributing to the growth of the industry. We have designers such as La Duma who is really, push, uh, really um, advocating uh, fashion designs that are also within also his culture as well and each and every single designer tries to also be able to emulate their culture's designs and be able to have it present in their fashion. And this it really is something that showcases how Africans have really influenced even media and also television with movies that have come through that have also been able to embrace that African culture and African fashion. Yeah. And it's really something that the Bantepa Foundation looks at helping to um, spread because it's one of its core pillars in terms of social cohesion and African fashion as a whole looking at the current xenophobia issues is really trying to be able to show that we are all one people. Yeah, you know one of the, the incredible things is is just looking at that social cohesion with uh, mm. amongst your designers and what is that like because you know we we referred to in the introduction about the xenophobic attacks yeah. and all of the what looks like anguish amongst Africans on the continent. But when it comes to fashion, design, sharing a stage together, what is that like? So, you know, the one thing about the industry is I think the perception on the outside is that, you know, there's this um, kind of very competitive, very kind of racy and punchy kind of crowd. But the one thing about the fashion industry and the amazing people that I will get to share, you know, the ramp tonight is that the fashion, fashion industry is one of the most generous and the most um, empathic 
crowd out there and it's amazing how people have given so freely of their time and their talent for tonight. Mm. So whenever there's a cause, we rally together to stick, stick together and to actually put our voices behind it. And I think if you look at around the world, everything from the Amphar dinners to, you know, the dinners before kind of big things like the Oscars and whatever, it's always a fashion industry that's rallying around it. Yeah. Um, and so the fashion industry can be very, you know, it can be fickle, but it's a very, very powerful voice out there. And it's a very pervasive voice in, you know, amongst the youth, youth um, social culture. And, um, and the different thing in this country, on this continent, fashion is something which is really kind of, it has a strong kind of presence. Um, and, you know, th th there's a lot of kind of things which... Um, fashion embraces. So, for instance, you know, if we talk about the xenophobic attacks and things like that, I mean, one of the biggest things around this thing is about women as well and how women are affected. And this is an industry which is really the, the backbone of it, which is women. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting to see also by, doing, for, by us doing the show, in a way, we also showcasing the strengths that lie behind our brands and businesses. So it's so much more. And I think the designers are really have embraced tonight's show and put their voice behind it to showcase not just the talent, but everything that comes from behind their labels and behind the scenes as well. Excellent. So yeah. the, ki the, the, the names of the designers that are going, obviously Gavin Raj is part of it, I can hear. Yeah. Who else will be a part of so it? So we have uh, Marianne Fassler tonight, we have Eric Christina, uh, we have uh, Michelle Tybo Tybo Bacar. Tybo Bacar as well. So there's a whole group of us and every, you know, there's people that actually are also not have full on shows of Fashion Week, but who have also just lent their voice. Um, towards showing and, and, and being part of tonight as that well. That is absolutely incredible. Yeah. It's so, so wonderful. Just as, as we, we wrap this up, just some of the, 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 the retail trends that we can expect going forward and also sort of the, the consumer access, these designers that you're seeing in these, and these, the, these fashions that will be on display. Mm -hmm. Talk to us about that. Well, looking at the current retail trends of the world and also of Africa, uh, the African Fashion International is poised as a platform to be able to give all details and accessibility. And one of the major trends that we have seen is online retail, where uh, the, the growth of online retail, especially around the fashion sector, and also the pop-up sector as well is also growing within within that re that uh, that uh, family in order to be able to accommodate. Uh, retail as well as also online for individuals who want to feel fashion, the art garments and for those who want to purchase it online. And the real, real growth of this entire sector really lies behind the consumers, the individuals, the people, the ones who are going online to be able to buy the products and then sharing it on social media. And then all of those shares go and become viral. You find uh, products like uh, Nkosi Akosi, who, who has a huge social media, and as her products grow online, people are then be able to find it as well from social media to retail, and all of that is really a huge growth for, yeah. for African designers to be able to grow. The power of social media currently is really driving the trends of, of, of retail, yeah. as it's the one that is pointing the direction. Uh, you find that most organizations are now focusing purely on make, having a strong social media presence and then that social media presence is what drives the sales online. Believe me, I buy so much just mm -hmm. on Instagram and social media mm -hmm. and it is, it, it's an incredible thing and how powerful it really is. So mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm happy for those that use the platform well. Gavin Raja, good luck for tonight. Thank Thanks for chatting much. to us. Keep up this great initiative. Uh, he's the co-chair of the African Fashion Unite Showcase as well as Sikhle Majola who is in charge of the retail portfolio at Africa Fashion International. Thanks. Go down there if you can. Afri uh, uh, South, uh, Af 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 African Fashion Week is uh, taking place and it starts tonight until Saturday. So let's take a break. We'll see you after this. Deborah Cox in studio. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>